guys uh, back after that full scan looks really promising uh, I have no uh, rogue antivirus down here uh, no fake system alerts I do have a Z-Lob that's being detected which is basically a rogue antivirus uh, I'm just gonna say apply to all objects and delete yeah we have some some uh, something that's requiring us to reboot uh, apparently it's a uh, Z-Lob so this might be a safe mode kind of scan thing it is detecting it but it's having trouble deleting it in real time uh, for now I'm just gonna skip it since it's really the only thing it's found so far I did do a full scan um, my configuration currently is uh, set to high for detection security level is set to high I'm not worried about email and IM web traffic uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set that to high because I'm gonna go ahead and get on the internet now and s let's see how the browser is this is Internet Explorer like I said lots of people use this uh, in the real world I'm gonna go ahead and click on my network card and Kaspersky's already finding stuff which is cool it found some adware that a lot of the other ones do not find which is context program uh, I'm gonna go ahead and view what it found here uh, web traffic six events let me see if it tells me anything This is more like a real-time analyzer of different processes going on. I wish it could tell me some group by task. Well, I don't know if it got rid of it automatically or what. Closing program detected. Uh, Viruses, potential unwanted. I'm not sure what this report actually does for me. Reports. Yeah, I don't really care about reports. I just want to make sure it got rid of this stuff right now. Uh, I'm going to go in my settings and hopefully I can go to online security, <coughs> anti malware, web traffic settings. I wish it would just deal with it automatically and just delete it. I don't see an option for that. Let me try to restart. Yeah, see it shows me, it says Internet Explorer is accessing untreated, skipped by user. I didn't skip that. That's a little confusing. This is interesting. This is a browser configuration wizard. I wonder if it'll tell me. Yeah. I'm just wishing it would actually. And sorry for me pausing so much. I haven't used this program yet, so um, normally my reviews go really fast because I pre test everything. automatically block download okay Disinf uh, do not uh, disinfect delete cannot be disinfected so hopefully it does that so it detected some risk where I'm not sure Oh uh, yeah, if I look at the times, this is old stuff. Oh, here's that context program. I'm going to go ahead and select all these and just say disinfect all and see what it does.
to make sure it doesn't want me to reboot, because that sucks. I have a big feeling we're going to be seeing a safe mode scan here. Because CAV is detecting everything, but it's having trouble deleting it in real time. Looks like I guess it got rid of that, whatever that is. So the full scan detected a bunch of stuff and didn't get rid of it. Maybe I didn't have things set just exactly right, but it does show me the stuff here and I can get rid of it um, afterwards. It's doing an okay job. that wow effects. This Q host infection has got to be the worst Trojan I have ever seen. It is very, very tough to get rid of. The only one, yeah, it's going to reboot. We're going to do a safe mode scan. The only one I've uh, actually seen get rid of it is the spyware doctor with antivirus. I haven't had any other anti-malware program deal with Q, Q host yet. Anyway, uh, when I come back, I'm going to go ahead and start the safe mode scan. So, uh, I'll be right back. 